What's up, champion? Ladies, this one is for you, and men, you're also going to benefit from this. Here's a phrase, ladies, that I want you to just hang on to and make your own. Don't call me Eve. But you got to say it with a little bit of passion. Don't call me Eve. What am I talking about? In Genesis 3, after the fall, Adam now looks at his wife in this fallen state, disconnected from God. And he says, you are going to be Eve. He calls his wife Eve. The word Eve literally means childbearer. So here's the deal. Ladies, you are so much more than that because you were there in Genesis 1.27 and Genesis 1.28 where God said, we're going to make mankind, male and female, in our image and our likeness and we're going to give both men and women the ability to be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, have dominion. That means, ladies, inside of you is the ability to be productive, to be creative. Fill the earth. That means you walk into an environment and if there's chaos, you bring a solution. Whether it's diapers and crayons and coffee stains, you bring peace. Whether there's a child crying or in your workplace there's a crisis or a problem, God gives you wisdom, God gives you compassion, God gives you the ability to walk in and be a solution. Mothers nurture, protect, affirm, raising up their children, protect. That is so valuable. And you know what? God himself said, well, after he created man, just Adam by himself, he said, this world is not good without women. And then he creates man and woman. So we have the e equal authority, just different roles. So ladies, please know, you can walk around with this knowing in your heart. Don't call me Eve. I know who I am in Christ. Now I fully understand that throughout history and in our culture, even today, that women are heavily degraded. Ladies, as men, we try and understand that. But you probably say, you'll never understand. Here's the reality. We might not be able to change the way that society views women this week, but you know what you can change this week is the way that you view yourself. Again, ladies, see yourself in Genesis 1, 27 and 28, where you are created after God's own likeness in His image. And He has placed greatness inside of you. So we pray that wherever you go, you will be everything that God has created you to be. Whether that's a home builder, whether you're a teacher pouring into the lives of students, whether you're in business or whether you have, you're creative in the arts, wherever you are, Ladies, go forth and be everything that God has created you to be. We need you to be strong. Be blessed.